Hey man, so I've collected everything together in in one place quickly. So that's the Mini 2 chassis. Okay, lead screws, 0.9 steppers, uh, four axis, all run off of Mac. The spindle is an NSK 2530. I would say this one's had about seven, eight hundred hours on it. Sounds brand new to me. It's never done anything over 9,000 RPM. By a standard, we run that. Um, so we've got also then the Mac computer, which is going to, which is there. It's just a little Dell Optiplex. The controller, which is the little four-axis controller. The, um, the Nakanishi controller, and then just the usual array of fixtures: the fixture and Brent's Arbor and the tools for handling the spindle. Um, everything's running page up, page down, there's Z up and down, left, right, back, forward and rotary. All running. I think everything is pretty much standard as you would expect it to be. Machine's in perfect running order. It's been running constantly. Uh, no problems with it. I uh, Sorry, you've got your tail stoppers there. Yeah. So, any issue I have picked up with it is every now and then, Y gets lost by about 0 0.1 of a mil. So what Cora has been doing is she's been parking it at XYZ zero um, and just leaving Mac running. You can turn the mill off, but you can leave Mac running, and then that way you don't even have to do a home and a probe. You can just carry on from where you were. When we do an actual home and a probe, I think that my the anti backlash nut underneath here, which is a black nylon one like that. I think it might have a little bit of wear or it might be binding a little bit around here somewhere. So if you do a home and a probe, it goes out by about 0 0.1, then you have to dial it in again. But if you actually park it at XYZ zero and don't drive all the way up to the top of the table, it seems to cut fine with no problems. I will include an anti-backlash nut with it for you. Um, I've just not had the patience to get in because you, you have to get in from underneath there, you have to unscrew the stepper pull the lead screw and everything out and then the anti-backlash nuts in there, drop it out, screw a new one on and just tie it all back together. Apparently it's a half hour thing, it's a half an hour I don't have the time or the patience for. Um, like I said the mill cuts pretty much as it should be. So I'm just going to grab you a mill pawn, a couple of views of it. So you can tell everything is good, all the, all the touch probes are working. Um, Everything's working pretty much the way it should. Like I said, oh, you know from the forum, this thing's cutting every day. Okay. Could probably use a bit of a clean. Don't get much chance to get a clean around here. I'll put on some cable track on there just to keep the cabling all neat. Okay. So, once again, the mill with all its fixtures for the table. Um, the PC, mouse, keyboard, the controller, the... NSK controller and the PC all bundled in there for you. So do me a favor, grab me a video of all your stuff um, and let's get this trade going. Thank you, Maddie. Cheers, Chris out.